In an incident involving Iran-backed Houthi rebels, a U.S.-owned cargo ship was struck after the rebels fired a three-rocket barrage. One of the missiles hit the port side of the vessel, quote, from above, while the other two failed to reach the sea. This attack occurred shortly after a U.S. warship intercepted a cruise missile launched by the Houthi rebels. The U.S. CENTCOM reported that the three missiles were launched from near a Red Sea port city that is currently under Houthi control around 4 p.m. local time. Maritime risk firms Ambry and Dryad Global identified the targeted vessel as the Eagle Gibraltar, a bulk carrier flagged in the Marshall Islands, and owned by a United States entity. Ambry stated that the attack was in retaliation for United States military strikes on Houthi positions in Yemen, emphasizing that it specifically targeted U.S. interests, The Sun reported. The United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations reported that one missile hit the port side of the vessel from above, causing a fire in one of the holds. Despite the impact, the Balker remained seaworthy. Satellite tracking data revealed that the Eagle Gibraltar, originally bound for the Suez Canal, abruptly changed its course at the time of the attack. Fortunately, no injuries were reported, and the ship will proceed with its journey. The vessel is owned by Eagle Bulk, a company based in Stamford, Connecticut, listed on the New York Stock Exchange. The firm has not responded to multiple requests for comment. Authorities are currently investigating the incident and have advised vessels in transit to exercise extreme caution while reporting any suspicious activity to the UK MTO.